what's going on you guys of men's long locks this is george i'm a professional musician at uh, los angeles california and thanks for wanting to feature me this is such a, an amazing opportunity and here's a video for you guys on my hair journey and hair care everything so let's start so my hair journey started in 2013 when i was about 17 years old and i've been growing it out ever since what really inspired me to grow out my hair was basically watching all of the rockers that i grew up listening to like cannibal corpse judas priest like any head banging band even the guitarists that inspired me to play more than just metal uh, jazz guitarists like larry carlton and pat metheny and even frank gambali it was finally when I was about to turn 18 and then start my senior year, my folks were finally okay with me having my hair grow. When I started my senior year, my hair was at the length where it's just about to start the awkward stage, but it was still tolerable and it still looked good. I got compliments, you know, left and right from so many people. They're like, yeah, keep, keep growing it out, you look good. And then I had one person say that I looked like Justin Bieber. So from that day on, every morning, I would actually get a comb and slick back my hair, and I would look like a greaser. And then by the time school would let out, I would end up looking like Ryder Strong from Boy Meets World. My teachers would often complain that my hair was in my face, so that was also the reason why I would slick it back every morning. It came to the point where I had to bring a comb, and whenever school or a class would let out, I would go back into the bathroom, get some water, and just slick my hair back as much as I could. So this style is mostly what I use for uh, parties or uh, any type of fancy event. Uh, when, when my band was nominated for Music Video of the Year, the party that we went to, I had my hair exactly like this. Kind of like a Legolas from Lord of the Rings. I call it the Qui-Gon Jinn hairstyle. You can call it Legolas or top ponytail, whatever. This is how I would mostly wear my hair. Kind of like a mullet kind of thing. Here is the standard ponytail. And if I ride my motorcycle, I often have multiple hair ties that go down the tail. I noticed that uh, your hair does not turn into dreadlocks when you have multiple hair ties put on. It's also good to keep your hair out of the way, kind of like this, when your job is not in the music industry or you want to still look professional but have long hair as well. And here's how I usually have my hair, just have it down or I have all, all the bangs, or I just have it like this, or if, if you're a Dream Theater fan, you know John Petrucci had his little flip right here, so I, I had a lot of guitar students of mine say I looked like John Petrucci when I did this. And now with hair care, I use bedhead conditioner as well as bedhead shampoo. It is uh, salon quality, so there's no harsh chemicals or anything that's sketchy that you see in, you know, modern shampoo and conditioners. Um, I have many brushes, but my favorite is this wet brush. It's flat out amazing. And other than that, I also go to a hairstylist, and he's actually the vocalist in my band. He uh, works at a hair salon over in Huntington Beach, and I go there every two months to do a little trim, get, get all the dead ends off. And then I just uh, keep it at this length, it's uh, just below my ribs. I might keep it at that length, or I might grow it a little more. Any tips for uh, people that want to grow out their hair? I can't stress this enough, every two months, go to a salon and trim off your dead ends. You don't want any split ends to go all the way up to the top of your head. When you're brushing your hair, take your time. Take a small layer, start from the bottom, work your way up. You don't want to rip any hair out. You're, it's going to hurt. It'll make the knots even tighter and you'll end up breaking your hairs as well. Do 
do some research on what kind of shampoo and conditioner you'd like to use. Uh, I would personally suggest Bedhead, because uh, that's what I always see at a, at a hair salon. Thank you so much, uh, Men's Long Locks, for contacting me. I really appreciate the amazing effort, and hope to see you guys uh, in person sometime. Rock on, y'all.